Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. It's the OCG Fam Show. Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. So, what are we doing today? Well, we've been working on the Spartan Regimen of Nectar for the Gods, and we've gone through the whole thing, but there's one point. Uh, it says here, pH is critical. You need to measure your pH. You gotta get you one of these, a pH pen. And uh, we sell them downstairs, you can come down and get one. Uh, but if you look here, 112 bones for this thing. Not cheap. It's a nice pen, but not cheap. And people are saying, good lord, I just want to try this out. I don't need to invest that much money. I can't do it. Is there some other way? Well, there is some other way. Uh, pH tape. This will get you by for a little bit. Ultimately, you might want to get one of these, but uh, this will probably work. Anyway, so this is a three-part series we're going to be doing here today. Actually, what I did is uh, Scott was here the other day, and we interviewed Scott, and he's going to go through the uh, why pH is critical and uh, how you how you can use the tape or if you should use a meter, that kind of thing. Then tomorrow, I'm going to actually do a demonstration of how you do the tape. And then on Friday, we're going to talk about buying meters, which one to get, why to get it, how to use it, how to take care of it, that whole thing. So watch this interview with Scott, and then uh, we'll just watch the interview. It'll be fun. So a lot of people, when they're just getting started with the Nectar line, they get the four basic and the Olympus and they uh, like, you know, I'm ready to roll. No, you're not ready to roll. You got to have some sort of pH thing. And they're like, Jiminy Christmas, it's 150 bucks for a pH pen. Do I have to have one? So I'd like you to explain why you need pH pen. And also, can you use the little tape stuff or what's the deal with that? Yeah, I mean, pH is critical. I definitely, I would not run this line without some way of figuring out what the pH is okay. before feeding. Mm -hmm. um, whether or not you need the meter, um, no. Like you said, litmus paper works great. The science has been used in litmus for the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. um, it measures you know, within the realm. What we're looking for is just that sixes. Okay. So if you're looking at litmus paper on this roll, yep. you got this super awesome chart on here that yep. literally shows you that you know, six is anywhere from this light green to this dark green. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you're in that range, if it's yeah, I mean, light green to dark green. Because, I mean, you can see, like, it's not yellow and it's not black. If you're yep. in there, you're probably, you're pretty close. Yep, and now, just as an, a hint, because Zeus juice is black. Yeah. So Zeus juice, if you're at 5.5 five on here, which is pretty yellow, and you drop some Zeus on here, it's, it's going to make it. it. Yeah, through staining, you're going to get it. So Zeus juice is like a 9.8 out of the bottle. Okay. So if you needed to use litmus paper to make, to check your pH, I would mix everything, the four other parts. So okay. you got your Herculean, you got your guy, your Medusa. Uh -huh. Mix those up, check your pH with this. Okay. Adjust the pH with the Olympus up. Uh -huh. Then add a teaspoon of Zeus. Okay. That's not gonna do much to bring it up. So if you got to 6.4 and you added one teaspoon and a gallon of Zeus, uh -huh. you might go to 6.45. Okay. So you're not going up enough right? And I got you. get you a truer okay. color. Because a lot of these we're measuring out, we're using this much, this much, this much. The Zeus is like, you just need some, kind of. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you go to BioEgg set, you're going to realize that Humic is awesome, but more is not better. I got you. And okay. you don't push with Humix. Humix are just stimulating and creating that uh, the ion exchange with the plant. So okay. having it present and in there, that's all you need is 5 to 10 mils. So everything with the Zeus, pH it with the, the, this, and then try to get a pen when you can. Yeah, and I mean, if you want to stick with Nectar, then it's definitely worth And now, pH pens, don't buy the cheap one ever, because oh. cheap ones are cheap and they suck. That's why they break. And yeah. everyone would sit there, I've owned a store for 12 years, I can guarantee you that the cheap ones, you will have issues and you'll spend more time and energy trying to get them repaired, where you buy the one nice blue, you know, yeah, the Blue Lab one. I think they do complain great. about that one too over the Myron, but they have great warranty service, and I've taken care of mine, and it's been fine. Here's and let me give you one more tip on yeah. those. Ask your store today, what meter are you selling that's not having issues? Because all of meters will go through waves. Oh, okay. And we've had Blue Labs go through failure rates uh -huh. through the roof, and then we've had them with nothing for four years of just excellent meters. So uh -huh. ask your store, get the recommendation. I always ask, who's going to support their machinery the best? So if I buy this, I'd rather pay a little more knowing that Milwaukee's going to take care of this sure, when I absolutely. break it. Yeah. So. Beautiful. All right. Oh, and don't do the drop test. They don't work with our line. <laughs> the drop test. So a lot of companies have this other one where you put the solution of your uh, 
you know, your nutrient solution into yeah. a vial and you put X amount of drops in it to give oh. you a color. Uh -huh. With our nutrient line, it does not work because of the humix. So oh, okay. it does, you can't get a true reading. There's a lot of guys that do it and have figured it out, but I can tell you that litmus is going to be more efficient. Okay, well, there you go. Okay, so you watched that, you saw that. What do you think? I thought he was pretty interesting. Scott's a fun guy. So tomorrow, uh, we're going to try the tape out. We're going to do an actual demonstration, see how that goes. And then uh, Friday, we're going to talk about buying a pH pen, using a pH pen, taking care of a pH pen. So that's today. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. For more information about anything on today's show, go to our website, ocgfam.com. It'll be fun. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good, it happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.